morning and welcome to Rising. Our quest continues, our quest being to deliver all the news that <laughs> the viewers need to hear about to them every morning of every day until we depart this good earth. <laughs> that long, Robbie? <laughs> that long? <laughs> You're in it for the long haul, Brianna. What are we talking about today? All right, well, Robbie, another batch of Epstein documents are out. Here's what you need to know. Newly unsealed deposition records from 2016 reveal Epstein accuser Virginia Gouffre told prosecutors that she was paid $15,000 to have sex with Prince Andrew in the 1990s. Gouffre also claimed she recall, uh, recalled at least two occasions where former President Bill Clinton visited Epstein's island and dined with young women. She could not confirm any sexual abuse on Clinton's part. However, when asked whether the pres former president was a witness to the sexual abuse of minors, Ms. Gouffre said, yes, he would be a witness because he knew what my purpose there was for Jeffrey, and he visited Jeffrey's island. She added, there's pictures of nude girls all around the house at all of his houses, and it's something that Jeffrey Epstein wasn't shy about admitting to people. Gouffre also reported seeing Donald Trump at Epstein properties, but again did not accuse him of abuse. Gaffrey did name other names as well. She said she was trafficked, made to have sex with former Victoria's Secret CEO Lex Wexner more than five times. She also said that she was made to have sex with at least two American politicians, including former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson and former Senate Majority Leader George Mitchell. She also named American businessman Glenn Dubin and former modeling agent Jean-Luc Brunel. And one other person whose name is still redacted in these documents, interestingly enough. Meanwhile, Epstein's brother, Mark, got into it with Leland Vittert on News Nation last night. Let's watch. There's very few people who knew him the way you did, and you hear all these allegations that he was providing women, uh, some of age, some not of age, to other men to compromise them. Uh, there's allegations of videotapes that have been recanted on and on and on, but does all that surprise you, or you hear about that and you kind of go, gee, there was always something about him that that as a brother, you go, that kind of makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense to me. I think he was just, like you said, he was just having a good time. Jeffrey liked to have a good time. And unfortunately, he chose uh, there, to do it with well, well, Hold on. There, there, there's, a, I, there's a big difference, I, though, between I having... There. I wasn't there. So you're asking me to speculate, and I really don't want to speculate because I wasn't there. Okay. Uh, and look, I wouldn't want to know this. I don't have a brother, but I wouldn't want to know this about anybody I loved. I mean, the, the allegations are are frankly revolting when you when you hear about what your brother is accused of doing. On, on a personal level, I know this would be hard to hear about a, a family member. So I, I appreciate you being willing to discuss it with us. Um, and like you, um, I think there's a lot of people who want more answers. So uh, many of these, you know, names um, that we're seeing are, are names we've heard before. We've heard Bill Richardson before. Um, obviously, Jean-Luc Brunel is someone who I believe also mm -hmm. um, died of suicide in uh, prison. Um, and these other people, you know, names we've heard, um, you know, you can read in, in the filings where, um, where the witness, Virginia Gouffre, you know, is going through how many times it was. Um, has difficulty remembering exactly when it was and exactly what age she was at the time, um, but says that Bill Clinton was would have been aware of what was going on, though did not specifically witness it. Um, again, says Donald Trump there at at times, although there was no sexual activity with him. Um, you know, so a lot of what we've already heard, um, there is this redaction still in here, which is pretty remarkable because this is someone who she has accused, in, according to this filing, of sexual misconduct, like uh, not just being a witness or being around or something, but actually um, in, engaging in um, illegal sexual activity with her. Yeah, look, on some level, this is getting in I I incredible to have to parse in this way, knowing what we already know about Epstein. And I think that interview with Epstein's brother really foregrounds how we're all kind of tiptoeing around the obvious. Jeffrey Epstein was convicted of procuring child, uh, children for pr prostitution and soliciting a prostitute back in 2008. He was a convicted right. sex offender for well over a decade before he ended up in jail, most recently, where he died. So that combined with testimony like Gouffre's, where he, she's talking about how there were pictures of nude women all over his houses, that he wasn't 
afraid, shy about talking about his predilections. And the amount of time and the frequency with which these high-profile figures, whether it's Bill Clinton or Donald Trump, were at those properties and in proximity with Epstein, the way it's being discussed, it feels as though everyone should have known, especially given that people were continuing these relationships long after the point in time in which he was already a convicted chi child sex trafficker. So for the brother to sit there and be like, mm, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. He's my brother. I wasn't there. I wasn't, you weren't there. You had no proximity and relationship to your brother who apparently was so open about his habits that he had framed pictures of these women all around his house. You have Donald Trump being famously quoted as having said about Epstein. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do. And many of them are on the younger side. Yeah, it's reminiscent of the fact that um, uh, jokes were told about Harvey Weinstein, exactly. like at award ceremonies. Um, 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 uh, Family Guy made a joke about it. Like for years and years, yes. there were jokes about him, and everyone kind of went, "Oh, ha, ha!" But, but it, it, they knew, so they knew, they knew on some level yes. that uh, what was going on. That's what it reminds me of. And Melinda Gates uh, separating from Bill Gates in part yeah. over her discomfort with their relationship. I mean, the yeah. and Bill Gates is frankly wall. one of the worst. Uh, uh, offenders here in, in, in terms of continuing to associate with Epstein long after his his criminal behavior was was no, was prosecuted was, was that he was convicted of, um, and continuing to have a business relationship with him, continuing to exchange um, emails. That's also true of these uh, couple officials at um, at Bank of America and uh, in the Virgin Islands, um, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, it continues so, to be so the lurid and horrible. That. I mean, it, it's, and it's not just because... having a good time. I'm glad Leland, of course, jumped on him for saying right. that because it's right. not just having a good time I mean, can like you you're imagine partying to. Like are. These were underage girls. These he are went to, girls. Yeah. These are girls that were around. And apparently, according to, again, just as according to Guifrey, the purpose of their presence was known. Now, it's hard for me to imagine that wouldn't be the case. Why else would a bunch of 60-year-old men have some girl who is not their peer in business, in politics, in life, in any respect, around all of the time. Let's not act Pollyanna. Let's not act like we're, we were born yesterday. So, I, I mean, the implications of this are interesting because there is, on some level, even from Guifrey, she's saying, I cannot attest to these powerful people like Trump or Clinton having personally used the quote-unquote services, personally engaged in sex trafficking with these girls, use these girls who have sex trafficked for that purpose, have been sex trafficked for that purpose. However, and, and so the, the, the criminal element, this isn't a conversation about their criminal culpability, at least at this point, but I think there, that, that doesn't preclude having a conversation about what this means about society, what it means about the elite culture and the culture of protecting the bad habits and bad actions of the elites amongst, among us. If the, some of the most powerful people in the world, British royal family, who has been accused of actually engaging in these sex acts, are able to do so with a level of impunity that they are openly hanging out with a convicted sex offender yeah. for years without the press, without their other powerful peers, without anybody raising enough of a I mean, stink to put an end to Jeffrey it. Jeffrey Epstein himself was able to do it with, without, with impunity at some level. He was prosecuted and then able, and then got a you know, a light sentence and house arrest and then was able to get yes. right back at it. He was, he was able to lobby the government of the Virgin Islands to change their sex offender laws to make his life less inconvenient. Yeah. And That's it's, remarkable. And, and it's worth noting also that he got that sweetheart deal mm -hmm. from a prosecutor who ended up being Donald Trump's secretary of labor, right. who had to quietly step down when that came to light. But even that didn't have anywhere close to the level of fanfare that we're now engaging in over speculation about, say, Hunter Biden's business practices, I would argue that this is, merits at least as much scrutiny. Yeah, one more uh, thing I, I wanted to note. Yeah, I, I've covered a lot of um, um, sex crimes cases for um, uh, young people when they interact with um, social media. I used to cover just kind of school policies and school disciplinary matters more. And um, they're really f uh, sad, frustrating stories, you know, teens exchanging um, dirty Sexist. photos with each other. And if they're, you know, one is 16 and one is 17, it's different in every state. But uh, the, it can often count as child pornography. And you get these really harsh sentences and sex offender registration for kids who are engaging in, again, not, not you know, their parents, they can, should be grounded or something, but not, they're not sex criminals right. for having interest in people their own age. 
Um, but they get the book thrown at them. They get their lives wrecked. They get no access to electronics. Um, and these charges stick. They're hard to get around. So the idea that that people in that situation have no way out of, the, of, of a totally unfair but just rigidly applied um, uh, the, the law the way it's written, they're screwed. But the most powerful people, in, you know, accused of and then in Jeffrey Epstein's case, found guilty of disgusting transgressions of the law, yes. um, able to, it's a minor inconvenience. Yeah. It's incredible. It's very sad. Yes, one rule for the billionaire class, another rule for the rest of us, it seems. Stick around. We have more rising for you right after this. <laughs>